Okay, I'm kind of hoping this turns into a video or a feeding video, but this is my Lasiodorus polycuspulatus. I picked these up from Tanya at Fear Not Tarantulas a few months back. You can see the review for them. I actually only picked up one. I was going to pick up two, and there's only one left. But uh, as of course she retreats because of the light. But this is proven to be a cool little species. If I can get a better shot, I'm hoping she'll eat on camera. It's in there now, and I think she just grabbed a roach. This has been a cool little species. I love the colors of these, the muted, earthy tones. Um, how I've kept them is I heard they dug, so I gave them quite a, uh, gave her quite a uh, few inches of substrate to dig in, in which she immediately burrowed right down to the bottom. But she's often out and about. Oh, yep, she's got a roach right there. She's often out and about. Um, so it's not by any means something I would call a fossorial or a pet hole because I see her quite a bit and she's pretty bold She'll stand right up on top. I'm saying she I'm hoping it's a she we'll see But uh, she'll stand right out in the open the whole time. No problem whatsoever. I see her constantly uh, As far as temps and everything same as the rest of my species. I got her a little bit uh, I think late in the fall when it was starting to get cold and it's basically been uh, low 70s to mid 70s in the winter because I do have the heat and in the summer, it's been quite warm, so she's been eating like a pig, which has been great because I'm very curious to see what this one looks like when she's all grown up. But not skittish at all. Um, as you can see, she kind of just sits right out in the open. I haven't had her kick any hairs. Great eater. Cool little species. And I kind of picked these guys up because I'd heard of them years ago and hadn't, I didn't know too, too much about them. So it was kind of fun sometimes to pick up a spider that you don't know incredible amount about and learn about it as you go and that's definitely been the case with this one so if it's not a girl i will definitely be looking to pick one of these up again because i do want a female i'll be curious to see how large she gets but just a very cool species um word on humidity i did keep um her like i keep a lot of my slings where i moistened the bottom couple inches of the substrate and then put drier substrate on top of it she did seem to dig right down to the moisture stuff and prefers that. So I do kind of moisten the substrate every once in a while, but I haven't been going nuts with it. And as you can see, she's got a water bowl that'll be getting cleaned out in fresh water in a moment. So very cool little species.